Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the fifth episode of Release the Spice. Now, last episode, it was, I would say, the furious episode of the show we've gotten so far. Pretty much it was Mei and Yu, or Fu, I meant to say. Mei and Fu basically rekindling their relationship, working through some stuff, and just getting all lovey-dovey in general. That was pretty much the episode, just becoming really good partners, I guess you could say was the summary of it. Uh, just, you know, interpret partners the way you wish to. So, yeah, let's just get into the episode, see if we have a similar thing with a di different pair of characters this episode, or just something differently entirely. Uh, I guess we'll see. Three, two, one, play. <laughs> wow. Achimuite. Oh, that was a nice picture. Very nice picture. Uh, yeah, we should go to one of those. <laughs> that that sounds fun. Oh, birthday. Dojo. <laughs> I would imagine so. Got to keep that secret. Close. But yeah, so let's go to Hot Spring now. So we're getting back into into this. Okay, nobody screw up this time. You didn't leak any information, did you? What was that look about? Are you concerned about information leaks potentially from Momo? Because she is new, so it's pretty easy to accidentally let something slip with your friends like that. So that was a meaningful look, though. There was something on her mind. The creeping tentacles of evil. I... I would be okay with some of these girls experiencing those. Which one? I would like to expose some of these girls, but, you know, the show does not want to show us panty shots, so... <laughs> they flutter, but they do not flutter enough. Yes. Very interesting lyrics to this song. Oh? Yeah, please, slather it all over. I mean, Yuki can do it for you if you don't want to do it yourself. Oh, okay. Why is the camera so low there? Oh, yes, make sure to help her. Don't want to miss any crevice. Nook and cranny, I meant to say. <laughs> uh, well, rude. <laughs> In other words, don't look at it. Well... I should say so. Don't interrupt my job. And now we wash it off. Wash all of it off. So I guess the clothes were in the briefcase. And those were, yeah, those wouldn't set off a metal detector. What about the weapons and stuff? They would. I, I don't know. I'm not going to think too much on that. Sitting on her shoulders. 
Nice. There we go. So pretty much nothing went wrong. Cool. Man, she looks pretty good in that. A little bit of belly there. Yeah, this one is suspicious here. <laughs> yeah, we're on to you guys. Okay, of course it was because of the traitor. I was thinking that. There's only way to figure out who that is. No Discord. Oh, that. Let's not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Please come under our umbrella. There's plenty of room. <laughs> yes, that's a very significant ring. Uh. Uh. Oh God. Uh. I guess that's what happened up with that. But uh. What have you done to yourself, the Hulk? Oh, uh, that's unfortunate for her. Uh, come on, dude. <sighs> Run in. <laughs> I guess that's her name now. <laughs> What, does Tuka Tukikage not pay that well? <laughs> uh, wow, that's a very nice guy. Uh, could be a little bit more subtle about your preferences there. Of course. Get a little bit of something on your... Like, yeah, like go to a hot spring. Yes, yeah, so a better place to refresh than a hot spring. <laughs> oh, she was cute. I now ship those two. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> yeah, so are you implying you want to have some fun together with Momo? Perhaps? Yeah, don't overdo it. it. Has the opposite effect. Yeah. She is very nice. <laughs> Having fun there. I mean, you were clearly defeated. You wouldn't. Be here otherwise. <laughs> Why would we do that? He 
Yes, lots and lots of tests. <laughs> Oof. So rude. <laughs> Just keeps pecking at her ankle. It looks so painful. So I've heard. I know, right? He looks suspicious. Well, I mean, he asked Marco from before. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, they make a great team. <laughs> Leave it to them. <laughs> yeah. JP. Is that Marco over there? <laughs> uh. I don't know why, but it always slightly amuses me whenever I see that kind of, you know, subtle drug exchange in shows and movies. I don't know. I could just never take it fully seriously. <laughs> Something about it just always seems silly to me. Come on, Momo. Yeah, that makes a big difference. No. <laughs> right in the face. Watch the hands, Momo. Oh. Uh, yeah, that would that'd scare me too if I saw that suddenly in the train. Uh, no, but <laughs> I saw a Tsuki Kage member go by just now. Go chase them. Uh, no. Bad touch. Ooh, th that probably doesn't hurt very much. Yeah, she's kind of become a monster. Ugh. That might do something. Ah. Good God. Ooh. Uh, Yuki, are you around? No, that it's something. Oh god, she caught those with her teeth. At least hit her in the eye. There's no way that's very defensive. Ugh. Man, Shusho, please help me. Oh, well, she apparently can do it. What a hell of a bodyguard. I yeah, don't panic. Fair enough. Yeah, I've gotta take your spice. Uh oh. Oh really? Is this is this really happening? <laughs> Oof, okay. Yeah, smart move. <laughs> Goodbye. Just fall already. Uh, there you go. You shouldn't be getting back in here now. Yeah. Uh... I know, right? Just stop worrying about that so much. <laughs> no hugs and during the middle of a mission, I guess. 
after the well, you kind of got some bags under your eyes. It looks like there, Momo. I want to get some sleep. Oh God, you get some sleep, Momo. Yeah, he's got the Mario ring now. We cannot. I mean, we have to deal with the traitor if we want to make any real progress against Morio. <laughs> They're all so cute. Yes, she has. Just do your best, but don't try too hard. Yeah, she's gonna fall, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, you tell her, Foo. My friends! Yeah. Hopefully. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, come on, throw us a bone here. No, you don't. Just go with them. Listen to her. Everybody's been telling you the same thing, Mom. It's got to get through your head somehow. It was a monster. Give yourself a break. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Momo. <laughs> oh, they're such good friends. <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. That's nice. And then the monster bursts in. <laughs> and back to the mission. A lot of yen. Those are like 10,000 yen bills. <laughs> Good thing we have our little fur balls to help. <laughs> yes, but I mean, nobody here. Nobody that was invited anyway. Yeah, you don't just shoot randomly in the dark full of rooms in a room full of allies. You don't do that. Oh, there you go. Much easier than the big girl. I like how they stacked up the bodies. That's a nice touch. <laughs> yes. Yes. Some high-tech stuff. They're not friend material. But I mean, there's snacks around, so let's dig in. Yes, we're your friends too. We want to celebrate with you. Oh. Aw. This is nice. <laughs> Yeah. Well, no one cares what you think, because you're a bad guy. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like they're bad guys too. Apparently. Literally throwing them under the bus to save yourself, to help yourself.
Yeah, so she's alive, just alive somewhere. I still think Hatsume there is the is the traitor. I I can't, I can't see it being anyone else really. Everybody else have a pretty good idea of their personality. Oh god. Uh, should have seen that coming, I guess. But man, that hurts. And here we go. Oh damn. That that was impressive. Yeah, former member. Well, Katrina, I'll leave this to you. Oh no, Yuki is here too. Oh yeah, you pissed her off now. Right to the head. Yeah, she got hit pretty hard through like glass, so should probably go lay down. Oh god. That is not what I wanted from that. Oh. She's cuddling kind of next to her. <laughs> nice. I'm sure she was moaning. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I mean, clearly. Not a lot of benefits, it seems like. I mean, just lay down. Or come with me, you know, whatever. I guess that's fine, too. At this point, I'm so... I'm so concerned about just... Dota, I think her name was, just showing up out of nowhere and... Attacking like she's like the jump scare character of the episode. Uh. Uh. I was still hoping we would have a hot spring trip this episode, but oh well. Looking pretty good there. <laughs> pretty skilled as well. There we go. There we go. And the reveal. Until the show ends, so get used to it. 
Um, the echo. Okay, that was the fifth episode of uh, Release the Spice. And this episode, it was actually uh, Momo's birthday, which is pretty cool because, you know, she she works pretty hard, so she needs a bit of a break is kind of a, a theme of the episode, really. But, uh... Let's see... But, uh, yeah, Momo just, Momo really needs to just really get it together because she keeps trying to overdo it and not get as enough, enough sleep and try and just, again, push herself too hard. She really needs to, to just accept that she's going to mis make mistakes sometimes. She's not going to be as good as a more experienced, skilled person like Yuki. It's just, she needs to really get that. But I think we kind of made some progress with that in this episode. So that should be fine, you know, going forward. But, yeah, we do have a big problem, though, now, in the form of uh, Dote, you know, that very large Hulk-esque woman that's not very really smart, but very tough. Like, she can, she hits like a truck, so that's a problem, to say the least. We got to try out the uh, invisibility cream. That was fun, especially, you know, because girls helping each other apply it. Just, it would have been nice if we could actually see that, but I guess, I guess not. But yeah, we just used that to infiltrate, and then we washed it off and got dressed and succeeded in our mission. Basically trying to get some info from Q10 Science, I think they called it. But uh, they didn't get anything of value from that. But Yuki still has her suspicions. It's kind of a little bit a bit too squeaky clean sort of scenario. So her intuition still tells her that that's, there's still something there. And she's right. There's definitely something there. We know that, of course. But uh, the, the more you is trying very hard to keep Tsukikage like diverted away from where they where Tsukikage needs to be it's like they're trying very hard to keep them at bay with just using other people you know other organizations as a scapegoat just anything they can to keep themselves you know keep them at bay to, so they can do their own thing that's kind of what Mori's been doing a lot for the most part but uh yeah Biako's still around I guess she just kind of cleans that so she doesn't seem too happy about that but I mean she accepts it more or less for the most part so you know, as long as she doesn't run away on us, that's that's all fine. But, uh, yeah, just, she's just terrifying. She just, like, keeps showing up at random locations just to just attacks. Like, that's just, it's like a horror movie almost with that, with that thing in the show now. Uh, but, I mean, uh, the best moment of the episode is probably when they, when Yuki and Momo shared the spice on the train. That was, uh, it was a great scene. I like that quite a bit. We didn't get any licking on the episode, but I'll accept that as a close second. I'll definitely accept that. But, I mean, we don't have that much to say on this episode. Uh, we had Hatsume appear at the very end there. Like, I think they were saying that she was a traitor or involved with a traitor in, in some capacity. There was something there, so... That's, that's certainly interesting. Because I did suspect Hatsume was a traitor for... A while there because she just seems like the most likely candidate in my opinion just i don't know but the one guy that was serving food at his stand she's he seems to, be, seems to be a big fan of momo you know giving her free stuff <laughs> and uh that was pretty funny too but you know it's it's good for her because she didn't have any money there and yuki continues to be a very good mentor to momo which i enjoy doing her best supporting her as best she can yuki's just a really cool person you know, cuddling with her together there at the end was nice. But yeah, Momo just got wrecked by Dolte there. Just the biting didn't affect it. The hitting didn't affect it. She just kept on coming. But luckily, Yuki was able to, to help her out. Which is cool. I wonder if Byako will really do much in this series going forward. It's the size just from like cleaning. Will she actually help fight at some point? Because she was pretty skilled herself. So it'd be cool to see that. But yeah, I also that one girl whose name escapes me at the end, like, find a bunch of robots, so... I wonder if we can see more of her going forward, I think so. That'd be cool if she's the next one we really battle. Let's see... I feel like there's a couple more things I want to talk about, but I can't really remember. Uh, it was funny when Momo wanted a hug from Yuki, and she's like, no, not during the mission. That was funny. Although I would have preferred the hug, honestly. But yeah, I really like the birthday stuff. She had that nice little birthday event with her regular friends, and then some kind of birthday stuff with her, you know, work friends. So I enjoyed that. That was some very cute stuff as well. But uh, yeah, let's wait for the next episode now.
Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.